hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me back out on the banks of the River Ribble and we're in search of days on a stick float. As you can see on screen now, it's a beautiful morning to be on the bank. That mist is just rolling down the river. There's been an overnight frost. Believe it or not, it was eight degrees yesterday. This morning we've woken up to minus figures. What it has led to is a beautiful morning to be on the bank. As you can see on screen, who wouldn't be an angler? And it is these mornings that make me think all the people that are not anglers really do miss out. So when I look through the angling year, mornings like today, other mornings that I really do enjoy when it's a crisp cold morning the camera struggles to focus because of the dim light but you know that hopefully you're gonna get one or two bites the surface of the water is like glass but we have got blue skies so Mr Sunshine will be coming over there later on so it is gonna play a bit with the filming but hopefully we can put together a nice video but we do take a look at the peg if you do enjoy the video please leave the video a like down below and subscribe to the channel there's a brand new video every friday at six o'clock on the channel so turning around and looking at the peg what a beautiful view that is it's got the morning coming awake that mist coming down the river hopefully the wind stays off it today and we can dock that float right down got my uncle Lazar upstream as always on the bank with me and has done for many years and then looking downstream we've got an angler just downstream of us there but what a beautiful view that is the river at the moment is coming down after some pretty hefty floods there's been a couple of trees gone down the far bank today already it's got a lovely pace out there and we could do anything today really we could go the waggler down there but today because it's just coming down to that that fishable level it's going to concentrate on this inside line here on the stick float so taking a look at the setup, I've got my 17 foot Preston Innovations carbon active rod. The reel that I'm using is a Cordham switch reel and on there I've got the new four pound float line from Cordham. That's down to a 1.6 gram fine liner float. And then the shot is similar to the other week. I've got four number four, three number four, two number four, and then one number four right on my hook link. Two pound hook link down to a size 18 hook. The ground bait we've got today is the supercharged black from Hinders and in there we've got some of the white crumb as well. What it means, just squeeze a ball like that, it's gonna be feeding balls like that into the swim periodically. So looking at the side tray, we've got plenty of white maggot and there's about two weeks worth there and I've got a load of maggot behind me. So we've got plenty of maggot today. We've got some sweet corn in case Mr. Chubb's about. We've got quite a lot the hinders hemp and if you look at that beautifully split prepared that yesterday and we've got all our bits and pieces here so just flicking in one thing that you might have to put up with today is a bit of coughing and sneezing i am still full of a bit of a cold so you'll have to just bear with me with that one just feeding the maggots slightly up from the peg that hemp just downstream and then we're going to run that float down that column of bait and it's all about just making that column a bait and one is like today sometimes it can just be in the swim other times you just gotta work at it and build it up but we're gonna start nice and easy just over the rod tip and there we go it's a lovely way to start right where that bait would be in the bottom you're gonna bite on the first cast and when you make the trip up here, Mr. Dace is most certainly the target. But as the first fish goes, you'll take any. And it's a beautiful perch on a crisp, cold morning on the banks of the Ribble. So I'm going to be nice and positive with me feeding today. I'm going to put a ball of that ground bait in, a bit of that hemp, and then some of them maggots upstream. And see, at the start, it's just about getting them columns of bait going through the swim. And at the start of a session, I know we've had a bite on the first cast, but I'm, I'm never too concerned at the start because it's about drawing them fish in. And there we go, just where that bait is probably hitting the bottom in this pace. We're just into the next fish. It's good to get such a good start to the session, most definitely. Oh, when it's such a cold overnight frost to begin with, after such a warm few weeks <laughs> you never really know even on a river but and that's the target species mr dace always a confidence builder because where there's one there'll always be more 
and I do apologize on this vlog I am still getting over the cold and mornings like today I'll definitely clear the lungs but I do apologize if you do hear a bit of sniffling so it is just a case of just trying to keep them fish now in the swim and keeping that column of bait going down so feeding them maggots and that hemp and just putting that float through the swim and what we're hoping to do is just keep them fish there or maybe move them a bit further up you know round about there is hopefully where I'd like to get them just that nice where the float's settling I didn't know whether that was a fish or the bottom mm. my heart sank a bit because the one thing you don't want in a swim like this is a snag really I was going to put a bet on it I'd say it might be Mr Perch because it's kind of just holding and it's gone out in the flow a bit but once I was right Mr Perch Mr Sunshine just coming over the horizon there I make filming a bit difficult but it's real fishing on the channel as we all know coming a bit further up the swim that one getting plenty of knocks as well now as we're going through the swim which is a great sign that there might be you know one or two fish just starting to move into the swim so it has been quite a good start to the session you can't complain at all and that's why we make the journey up to the beautiful river ribble so every few casts i'm just feeding a nugget of that ground bait into the swim just to keep that bait going through you know the roach and the dace you know like that aniseed smell most definitely in that bread just got on the outside of the bait that time you say when you're feeding over an area one or two of them maggots will go a bit further it's a great start to the session most definitely you know we can keep getting bites like this have a very good day's fishing and that fish is like a block of ice in my hand most definitely it is ice cold it's a beautiful morning also dot that float right down you can just hold it back and edge it through there we go I think if you're in a stick float angler you get what I mean there about being able to dot your float right down and there's no wind they are the moments for me as a stick float angler that I live for these moments on the ribble in winter just catching day there we go that's right on the bait <laughs> that one that is exactly where we want to get them if we're having a good day and hopefully at the start of this video it's just showing how you can get bites down the swim and by feeding you can get them right on the rod tip that's another one it shows right up the swim now there's loads of these days obviously just holding beneath the swim when you're trying now to get into a bit of a routine when you're feeding a little bit of hemp a few maggots and you're holding that float back and it's set going through that column of bait there's definitely one or two fish there now there we go you can just see how it's all coming in that line and if anyone's new to stick float fishing that's what it's all about just getting that line of bait going down and you use the 17 foot rod today because you can get right behind that float and hopefully you've seen there there's one or two fish just holding beneath the swim but that is a proper dace a proper fat river ribble dace And you can just see there now by how many bites we're getting right up the swim they're really competing for that bait and if conditions stay the same have a very good day so i don't know if you can see the distance there the two people walking away that's two ea officers who've just been on the river checking cards which is great to see you know i've had mine since i was a kid and it's the number one thing my dad always taught me he taught me a lot about fishing but he always said buy your licenses whether that's club or ea always pay your way and as predicted mr sunshine is right in our face and making filming difficult but these days are not stopping up they're just holding down there it's a beautiful glide that you can see and that oily break of the water with a day's coming to hand and on the blogs i just try and capture the 
atmosphere of the day he's fishing and you just see the mist going down the river a bend in that 17 foot rod looks like a perch trying its best to get into the margin and at the moment it's hard to know what your next bite's going to be we've had roach dace chublets and perch this looks like a fish that the ribble is famous for a cross between a roach and a chub a troach maybe if you look at it closely it is a mixture of two species whether that's roach and chub dace and chub so we're into the afternoon now and hopefully that little piece there just shown how that shoal's been moved up the swim you know from this morning and it is literally a bite of chuck I said before on the channel these are the videos that can be quite hard to make really because it is all about just keeping that shoal in front of you and we're doing the exact same thing we started doing this morning putting your maggots there your hemp in front balls of ground bait this color in the water is helping today and these fish have just stayed on the feed it really has been a good day's fishing in the net today we've had some lovely days and as we move past christmas every year that's where my mind turns to pike chub dace and roach and i've really enjoyed myself today on the banks of the ribble after being poorly for the past week or two you know getting out in the fresh air and getting plenty of bites um we'll call that one the last one of the session and we'll take a look at that final net. Right, so the session does come to an end there now. And as you can see on screen, I had an excellent day's fishing with plenty of bites. So it's been great fun today working that shoulder fish. We started off in the morning with them a bit down the swim. And it just shows by getting your feeding right, you know, the right baits, concentrating in the right area and getting your shot in right, you can really nail them fish down at this time of year to just down the swim. For anyone that knows the area, we've got the long walk back to the car, but we'll leave two happy anglers. As you can see, my uncle also had a fantastic day's fishing as well. So all that remains now is to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing, and we'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.